They ask me, how do you feel? And I go, I feel like I need therapy. Welcome back this week. This is season six, episode eight. I'm Renzo Rosato. And I'm Gaston Rosato, and today we have a pretty cool story. You're looking at, yes, it's a factory five type 65 Daytona coupe. You're probably saying, hey, you've done this car before, but I promise you, like most cars on this channel, there's something special about this car. One of a type, incredible provenance. We're gonna talk all about it in this episode, but like usual, let's go for a drive. But before that, hit that subscribe button. Please Thank guys, you. let's get this thing on the road. change of pace I can hear you I'm cool <laughs> this is good typically yeah. I can drive all day I love cars and I don't complain but this thing is rough it's raw it's as bare as it gets it's an animal no I agree okay? I mean you have to be 100% mentally prepared to drive this thing you can't just oh I need to go pick something up at the store or something to jump in the car you need to be mentally prepared for this car it's getting incredible. in and out is difficult yeah it doesn't have windshield wipers it doesn't have side mirrors or yeah. windows rather uh you know it doesn't it's a door handle for god's sakes this is a car <laughs> that you buy to drive because you want to drive and that's strictly all exactly. you do there's no radio there's no power 
anything except for the steering. Exactly. That's it. it it's, um, it's an experience to drive it. It's, uh, it's loud, the vibration, the visibility. Um, I do love the sitting position on the car. I mean, both of us. Both of oh, us you feel so cool, right? You got that five point harness in yeah. there. You're strapped in. You feel like you can conquer the world in that car. The shifter just right here, not far. What you see from the outside, what you hear from the outside, you get it while you're sitting in the car yeah, driving. It, it meets the expectation exactly. of what you think it would be like. Exactly. And some. Yeah, and, and I mentioned when I was climbing out of the car, it, it, it's, um, they asked me, how do you feel? And I go, I feel like I need therapy. Uh, <laughs> and I caught myself speaking louder than I usually was. Like when, when I, I caught it when I walked into the office really quick. I can, my ears are still getting adjusted to, to not have that rumble there. Well, it's got awesome. exhaust on each side, yeah. double tips on each side, side exhaust. So, I mean, it's, it's as loud as it comes. Now, what's <laughs> powering that car? So that's, that's the, I think one of the, the beauties of this car is it's a five liter Coyote, right, you know, brand new engine right from the crate. Coyote engine just slap yeah. right into that body that weighs absolutely nothing. Right, right, exactly. And now if you recognize that body, you probably do. It's a, a Daytona, Shelby Daytona Coupe. Right. Very historic car. We're not gonna go into detail about that. We really wanna talk about this particular car. Like we said at the beginning, it holds a very important prominence. It does. Uh, this is a car that we have already sold here at the barn. Uh, our client does store the car here with us and right. gave us this opportunity, which I think was great to help document the car, although it's very well documented, give it a little extra yeah. boost. And I think our viewers will, will, uh, will certainly appreciate that. Yeah. So let's, now, let's talk about, this car was built in 2018. I think more importantly is where it was built, right? Right, so there's a national convention that takes place every single year. Most people know what it is. It's called the SEMA show in Las Vegas. Right. This car participated in the 2018 SEMA show. And it was a collaboration between Ford Performance, which is the division of Ford that creates the Shelby, well, not the Shelby's, but the, the Raptor, you know, they had the GT500, GT350, the all this, the RS, everything that's special. High performance in the Ford world is made under the Ford Performance division. This car was built at the 2018 SEMA show in the Ford Performance booth alongside Factory 5, which is the company that makes the kit for the car. And that's huge. I mean, because as we, if you don't know, a Factory 5 car is a kit car. It, it mail you everything. You got to put it together in the garage or, you know, the bar right, right. shop you decide to work with. Um, and a lot of people make, um, you know, they'll take older engines and cars, they'll put them in there, right. different suspension components. This is all brand new, a powder coated frame. You saw that pearl white paint, yeah, it's spectacular. It's, it's a show car paint job with dual stripe, red pinstripes bordering that blue line. I mean, I couldn't think of a better spec on a car like this because it, it, it has a hint of modern, but still yeah. keeping that traditional Cobra line that everyone knows and loves so, so, so much. And, and that's, that's a, it's kind of a comfort, especially for the, in this case, the buyer knowing who built the car, because most times if you have a factory five kit car, you really don't know who built it or how they built it. Um, understanding that the Ford Performance team, along with factory five themselves, put this car together, you know you have a quality car. Yeah, and even more so than this, you probably notice the car is autographed. It is. And who autographed that car? Joey Logano, yep. the NASCAR champion, okay? Why did he sign it? Well. He was the first person to crank the engine at the Ford Performance booth. So in SEMA, see at cool. SEMA. And then they took the car out to the drift pad at the <laughs> convention center, driven by no other than Dave Smith, the president of Factory 5. So here you go. You got Factory 5 president, Ford Performance, Joey Logano, SEMA show. All this was televised. <laughs> So the car made, it, it was a circus, you know what yeah. I mean? It, it, it was, and that's what SEMA is all about. The exactly. best of the best. And this car is no exception to that. What an awesome car. It's brand new. Like we said, it's got what, 400 miles 405, on it. 405, yeah. We sold it with 50 miles. Show car. Yeah. The best we've had. And I don't know if anything else can top a car like this. It's going to, it's tough. It's, it's going to be tough to find something like that. And I think, uh, like we mentioned, you know, driving this car is a whole experience. And to the buyer who bought this car, 
He's like, man, it's so loud. You hear every rock hit the bottom of the well. Every bump is just like the car's about to fall apart almost. And, and it's super loud. And he goes, and I love it. <laughs> so, so you got to be that person, you know, you got to be that person to, to want to own and drive this kind of car. That's and it could also be a car for somebody who wants to just keep it as, and just to look at it just because of the paint job it has yeah, on it and no, the finishing. We, we certainly it. appreciate the car here. Yeah. We hope it stays for a long time. Yeah, we do. Um, all this talk has got me going. I want to drive. I'm out of here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Come back. Let's, let's close the episode yeah, out sorry. and then you go for your drive. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know it's an exciting car. I get it, but we got to close this out. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. We appreciate your views, your support. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, put a comment, tell us what you think. Yes. We appreciate it. All right, Until next week, I'm Gaston Rosato. And I'm Prince Rosato. Peace out. I'm bad, I'm bad as bad could be. I'm bad, I'm bad as bad could be.